Hello everybody and welcome back to another Total OS Today screencast. Well for this I thought I would take a look at the brand new Linux Mint XFCE edition. Normally this would be Linux Mint 10 XFCE but this is a new rolling distribution based on Debian which means it will have continuous updates which means that unlike previous versions you will not have to download a new version, uninstall the old one first, and going into, into a continuous continuous cycle of uninstalling and installing new versions of distribution. So again, this is Linux Mint XFCE uh, rolling edition based on Debian. Now what I did here is to download the FFmpeg software and run it through the terminal here so I can do this screencast recording. So let me get out of this. All right, this is the default desktop here. As you can see, the default icons here to the left. What you see here in the middle uh, are my USB drives. By the way, I am running this off a USB stick on my cruiser fl uh, flash drive, and I have a second one here, a travel drive, which I will use to save this recording once it is done. All right, to the right here at the bottom right, you have the volume control and the tabs, playback, recording, output devices, input, and configuration, very easy to use. Of course, here we have the music player, the uh, Ubuntu music player. And here we have the internet connection, which is working fine if you were to right click you can customize the panel, add new items, remove, move, property properties. Again, this is the same as a Linux Mint 10 main edition. If I was to click add new items and you can add new items to the panel bar if you so choose. Let me just add the trash applet. And right here I have the trash applet. And these are the previous test videos that I did with the FFmpeg, which seem to be working. So for now, I'll just delete them since it appears to be working okay. Running it off a USB stick. So let me delete those, and that's how you delete. Okay, again, the terminal here running my screencasting software. Let's click the menu. This is the default MIT menu for the XFCE. We have uh, run program, terminal, file manager, Firefox, software, settings, accessories, graphics, multimedia, network, office, system, help, about, and log out. Let's go to Firefox, the default web browser. Let's click Linux Mint XFCE. These are the release notes. Uh, this was released today, April 6th. Again, the team is proud to announce the release of Linux Mint XFCE some screenshots here uh, Linux uh, introduction to Linux Mint XFCE now this is important Linux Mint XFCE is rolling on top of a Debian testing package based base and uses the same repositories as LMDE this offers the following advantages to Linux Mint XFCE a huge performance boost a continuous flow of updates which allows users to keep their system up to date without waiting for new releases, a more mainstream desktop and software selection, and easier maintenance for the team, which makes it easier to release in both 32-bit and 64-bit with every LMDE release, which means Linux Mint Debian Edition. Uh, reading this, this makes sense. Once again, they have highlighted performance boost, which means they have added a lot of caffeine to this one, haven't they? And if you scroll down, you can see a more mainstream edition, easier to maintain uh, feedback in their decision process, frequently asked questions. I think if you are new to this, you should take a look at this at your leisure. All right, let me get out of this. Let's dive into more of the uh, menu here. All right, let's take a look at settings. Now, if I were a Windows user looking at this for the very first time, I would like to maybe change the appearance. So if I scroll up to appearance, okay, and as you see here, we have the appearance settings here to the left. Let me just go here, minimize it. Aurora, well, well first of all, at the top, you have style, tab, icons, fonts, and settings. Going back to style, 
Let's see, I was looking at this briefly before. Let's go to, uh, that's not the one. Let's go to Aurora Midnight. There we go. I kind of like how that looks. So I'll just leave it at that. I think this is more pleasing to the eyes. All right, where were we? Settings again. You have everything here from the XFCE for settings manager all the way down to workspaces. Let me click the one at the way at the top. And you have the settings to customize your desktop here. As you see, accessibility, appearance, desktop, so on and so forth. Very easy to use. I don't care for the fonts, but that can be changed if I so choose to. Going back to the menu, we looked at settings. Let's look at accessories, application finder, archive manager, bulk rename, calculator character, gedit, network, root terminal, screenshots, search for files, and the Thunar file manager again, which uses the normal mint green theme for the folders. And here is my output file for my screen session session recorder. All right, let's go back to the menu. Let's see, graphics. I do not see the GIMP installed by default. Still, we have, uh, what do we have? F-Spot, GNU Image Manipulation Program, Open Office, and Simple Scan Multimedia. All right, Brazero, Genome, Mixer, and Player, uh, Movie Player, and Player. I believe M Player is also available for Windows, Pulse Audio, and its sub settings here. Uh, Rhythm Box, Sound Recorder. Let's try VLC. Uh, wow. That came up pretty quick, didn't it? I like that. Pretty zippy running off a USB flash drive. Hmm. Well, okay, VLC is available for both Linux and Windows. It is one of my favorite media players. Well, I can't get over how fast that just popped up there. Let's see, multimedia. Uh, let's try sound recorder. And there you go, that came up rather quickly. Let's go back to menu. Let's see, we were at multimedia. Let's try networking, of course, Firefox, Giver, Genome, GWiber, Microblogging, Thunderbird, <coughs> pardon me, Thunderbird, Pigeon, Sun Java, Transmission, and the IRC chat client, OpenOffice. Again, we have the dictionary and the OpenOffice and its various pieces of software. I can't get over how fast this is just booting up. All right, well, let me get out of that. And uh, let's see here. Let's go to system and uh, ADSL all the way down to the Windows wireless drivers. Let's take a look at something I didn't look at. Let's go to uh, system monitor. Let's see how much this is using. Okay, well, not bad. It is recognizing both of my CPUs and CPUs and memory 227, 230 approximately. Not bad. So this is a lightweight distribution. Office, we were there. I can help about and log out. Let's see. Uh, I think there is a way if you don't like this XFCE menu here, you can change it uh, to the Mint menu. Um, let's see. Right click. Let's see. I think it's Add New Items. Oh, let's see. I think it's the XF applet, not mistaken. And here you have everything from battery charge, monitor applet, brightness, uh, CPU, uh, invest, track your invested money, the mint menu. That's what I am looking for. Let's click OK. And let's see, it's here to the right. So let's click. Well, there you go the mint menu so if you prefer to have this versus this you now have a choice nice I click all applications again this would be what would be standard in the Linux Mint 10 main edition I like it you have a choice of this again mint menu XFCE like it I like it both well, uh, I like this. This is running uh, rather stable and zippy off the USB drive. Uh, definitely, if you have an older computer that needs a lighter weight distribution, really considering how loaded with uh, software this is, you can even install this on your main computer system. I may even try installing this on my main system, although this is probably better suited for an older computer with less hardware resources. 
Well, all right, guys, that's it. That's it for this review of Linux Mint XFCE Rolling Edition. I recommend it. And really, I recommend just about anything coming out of the Linux Mint world. Check it out. All right, that's it. Thanks again for watching this screencast of Total OS today before I hit the quit button to stop this recording. Thank you again, and as always, I will catch you sometime in the future. Bye.